guess who's back? Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. Welcome back to my 2019 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600. This is part five, and um, in the last part, we eventually played some 3D Pinball Space Cadet. Not to mention that I don't know what else we did. I oh wait, I think we've been on Windows Movie Maker in the last part. Anyway, I wonder what we're going to do in this part. So, um, to, to all you people watching this video, um, I know that today is April 28th, but, um, since tomorrow is the 29th, tomorrow will mark the day that, um, tomorrow will mark the day that this has been a year since my YouTube channel has been going on. So, yeah, but let's log in. Gotta get this logged in. I couldn't make I couldn't make a video about this yesterday because I was busy with like a set recording somehow. It was on like a um it was on a tape. It was on a cassette tape. It, it was on like a it's it's a cheap trick tape. It's called Don't Be Cruel. And it's a cassette single. So um yeah, I was busy. Let's just yeah, I'm just hoping I can do this more often, though. Um, and I just don't know if this new edition of the Winners XP Tour will have, like, more parts than the 2018 version, which was the original. Maybe this, maybe this edition will have 25, but I'm not really sure just yet. I couldn't make a part 21 of it, you know, I could not make a part 21 of the original 2018 version. So, hopefully this edition will have 25 parts. Promise. So, anyway, uh, what we've got here, yeah, of course. Yes, I'm logged in now. So, yeah, um, also, you may wonder why sometimes I eventually put in, like, I put this, I put this portable cassette recorder right here. I have it sit there, but you, you're wondering why this thing's here. Well, nowadays, for now, I put this cassette recorder right here, you know, my portable radio, my Radio Shack cassette recorder right here, and I plug this in right there, so that way I can try, try to do cassette recordings there. I did that with, you know, the Jane's Addiction tape, not to mention, you know, the Don't Be Cruel tape with Cheap Trick. I wonder if I could, like, try to do the full album of that, you know, that Lap of Luxury. I just wonder how it might sound, so... Maybe one day I could test it. But anyway, yeah, we got this task bar with the start menu and the clock. And we've also got the icons with the recycle bin at the bottom right. Okay. So, um. I wonder what we're going to do, so. You know, it'd be a lot of fun to do all this stuff. What is it like? Could I eventually, like, try to do something here? I think I should, but I don't want to waste my time by waiting for the start button to glow. So, viewers, I will be right back after this. Also, while I try to wait for this computer to eventually, like, try to to get the start button to glow, um, I just want to show you, you know, this DVD-ROM drive right here for the computer that I almost forgot to tell you about. Um, I know that um, it doesn't load discs, so, but I mean. It, the disc tray still moves. So when you click this button, it opens. I mean, I think I remember that one time when I did a part of the 2018, you know, the original 2018 version of the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough, you know, Windows XP Home Edition. Um, I remember that the disc tray had opened itself, and uh, I did not want it doing that. It did it twice, I believe. Let's hope it doesn't do that. So, I think... I think it's glowed. Let me just click the start button. And about the power lights, this one is where the, you could turn the computer on. But this light, I don't know what this light's for. Maybe it's for the disk drive or maybe something else. I don't know. But yeah. This look of this Dell computer brings back so many good memories. So, yeah. Yes, I have clicked the start button, 
but I don't I don't really think it's showing up right now. Is this why this computer is being slow? How long is this taking? I think I heard some noise from the speakers. How am I hearing that? I think uh, about the noise of the speakers, about how loud they are. Uh, you know, when when there's dust on them, there's some like weird noise in them. But anyway, uh, yes, I'm right here. Okay, where do I go now? I don't want to waste my time doing this, so... Maybe I cannot do the all-program stuff yet. I haven't, I haven't made it to Music Match Jukebox yet, so why not do that? I think I should probably do Music Match Jukebox. I'm glad this computer came with it for Windows XP because, you know, if this Dell computer did not have Music Match Jukebox, you know what I have felt like. So, I can't go there. I can't go to all programs just yet. Uh, this will take, take a long time. Let me pause it again. Okay, I had to get my mouse pointer off the the all programs thing because I did not want to go there yet. What I want to go to was Music Match Jukebox, so let's click on that. Hopefully I clicked on it because, yeah. I got my camera moved here so that way I could see it. Yes, this start menu brings back so many good memories, especially this Music Match Jukebox logo. And I believe I haven't watched the tour Windows XP stuff until 2012, you know, you know, back in my younger ages. So, yeah, I clicked on Music Match Jukebox. That startup sound from Music Match Jukebox will start any minute now. So, um... Uh... About Music Match Jukebox, this Dell Dimension 4600 came with it. I mean... I have no idea why I had put in like a picture of this Sonic Underground thing. This Sonic Underground pic. And I don't know why I put it there, but... Um... It was taken in 2018? Oh, there it is. There's Music Match Jukebox. I love that startup sound. It brings back so many good memories back when I was younger. Uh, I miss... I also miss the times when there was internet on this computer. I still wish there was internet on this. Too bad Windows XP is, like, out of support. And even though we already, like, typed in the stuff for it... Oh... There's a tip of the day for here. I'm gonna read it. Tip of the day. Did you know my Music Match Radio offers CD quality streaming? Artist radio where you could choose the artist and tons of customizable personal radio stations. Subscribing takes about a minute. Go to the jukebox menu, options, online music, and sign up today. I'm not going to read any more tips, so... I mean, there is a next tip button if you want to read a different tip. But we're going to have to, like, eventually do something here. We're going to, like... There's a playlist up here. We're going to test some songs on here. Let's test this one. My Sweet N8 by the Drive-By Truckers. Um, is it going to play? Where is it? Where's the song? I just freaking clicked on that, but for some reason it won't even... Uh, how long is this going to take? Where's the song? Oh, there it is. There's the song. I don't really want to, like, get copyrighted for this, though. Let's just try to test the next one, which is... Julia by the Flatlanders. Sundog. Okay, that, that that's good there. You know what was not even in this playlist? That I don't I don't even see any others. Like, you know, like Sugar by Imperial Teen. Let's put that in there. 
The third is Imperial Teen Sugar. Okay, uh, what if I tried Cordero? It won't play? Crap. Let's just do next one. Let's do Mansion on the Mountain. So it's by Canyon. I'm glad that this computer came up with these songs because if it didn't come up with these songs and these connected to the box, that would be pretty suck. Alright, moving on is Chuck Prophet. What makes the monkey dance? Okay, uh. What a, wait a minute. I think someone eventually deleted this one. Someone actually deleted the David Byrne file. Whoever did that really needs to get it back. Okay, this one is One Moment by John B. Graham. I'm glad I remember this computer a lot. Oh, we're going to try to test San Francisco. Second hand jive. I don't really know about this album art because it's, it's pretty much weird looking. What do I have to say about this? I don't know. Let's try slopper belt. Oh, wait. I forgot that the volume for this may be a little loud. I'm going to turn it down a bit. This one is Sister Beams by Slaughter Belt. And last but not least, we're going to, like, test Vic Chestnuts. That's right. Vic Chestnuts. Where's Vic Chestnuts? Oh, there we go. Now we've got it playing. God, I miss this computer so much. I really miss the times when I had internet on this. Forget every... Okay, uh, now we're gonna test the most important thing for Music Mash. This sample. Get more if you... Get more if Jukebox Plus. Let's test it. Get the complete music solution with Music Match Jukebox Plus. Record more MP3s faster. Up to 40x. Create custom CDs in less time with Burner Plus. Volume level all your tracks for a balanced sound. And get accurate song, artist, and album information with super tagging. You can also customize and save equalizer settings and choose visualizations and enhance the way you listen to music. Unlock your Jukebox's potential. Click on the banner and instantly upgrade to Music Match Jukebox Plus. Music Match. Music Match. Freedom for music lovers. Alright, now let's close Music Match Jukebox now. So yeah, this is really good. Wait, there's something right here. There's something about Yahoo Music, but we're not worrying about that. Yahoo Music, why would anyone want to use it? Doesn't anyone want to use it? I don't know. Okay, that was great. Now we, uh, we're going to have to do something before we go. And I think I know just the thing. Uh, music box box box. Uh, I don't really know where to go anymore. I I I really don't. We're gonna like try to take a look at Encarta. You know, Microsoft Encarta. Where where is Encarta? Oh, there it is. Encarta Encyclopedia Standard Edition 2004. Let's test that. There's a startup for this one, right here. Where is it? Yep, there it is. Oh, wait, there's an error. The Shockwave Animation Player is not installed on your system. Please insert your Encarta installation CD, run setup, and choose repair. No thank you, because even though the disk tray works, it doesn't, it doesn't load CDs, unfortunately, so I can't do that. But yeah, this startup is really cool. I think there's a window coming in here too, so let's watch that. Wait, I don't, I don't think there's anything up there, so. I'm not gonna click Mind Maze on this computer because when I try to do it here, it won't work, so. 
Although I have Windows XP Professional on my Dell laptop, you know, for VMware, VMware on my Dell laptop, it works there, so I won't have to worry about that. So, yeah, that pretty much explains it. Let's close it now. I was expecting something, but I guess not, so. Oh, and we're also gonna, we're gonna do one more thing now, so. Uh. You know what, forget it. I don't really think we'll have time for that, so. We're probably gonna have to, we're gonna, we're gonna need to shut down this computer now, because we're gonna have to end this part, by the way. I don't want to run out of space on my tablet, so that's why we're gonna have to do that, so. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah. This is, that's, that's it for part five of the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough, you know, the 2019 edition of it. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, you know, for this part where we take a look at Music Match Jukebox and Microsoft Encarta 2004. Um, stay tuned for part six. I think part six will include the window for Microsoft Money and probably like other stuff, you know, maybe, maybe LeapFrog Connect maybe. So yeah, um, maybe if I do the sixth part tomorrow, it might be able to like, it'll be dedicated to like, you know, my YouTube channel starting on April 29th, 2018, you know, dedicated to where my channel started. Anyway, viewers, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part six of the 2019 edition of the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough, you know, for Windows XP Home Edition. This is Colton Tackin on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out, everybody. Have a great time and have a great rest of your April. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time.